Good evening and a very warm welcome to tonight's Insight with Ballet Black in rehearsal here in the Limbury Theatre, live from the Royal Opera House. I'm Emma Southworth, I'm the creative producer for the Royal Ballet and I'm absolutely delighted to be here with you all this evening. In this evening's rehearsal, we're going to be watching Ballet Black rehearsing in Goma. It's a piece that's going to be performed in a double bill with Cathy Marsden's The Suit on this very stage from the 13th of June. Ballet Black was founded by Casa Pancho and its work is dedicated to bringing ballet to a much more culturally diverse audience and it does that through celebrating the talents of both black and Asian ballet dancers. Created in 2001, Ballet Black has received um, all sorts of critical acclaim, into, including two National Dance Awards and numerous nominations, including one for the Oliviers. Before we begin tonight's rehearsal, please can you now give a very warm welcome to the choreographer of Ingoma, Matutu Zaley uh, November, who's going to join me on the stage now. so much for joining us this evening. So before we go into the rehearsal, I think it's quite nice for everybody just to understand a little bit of what we're going to see. Um, do you want to just talk a little bit about the sort of first moment of inspiration for the piece? Uh, yeah, so the piece, uh, the main inspiration for the piece comes from one painting by a South African artist called Gerard Sokoto, yep. which is called Song of the Pig, like the pig eggs. Uh, what was interesting about it was the use of colour. Um, and the way he used color to sort of disguise the, the hardship and yeah. the, the dirtiness of the environment. And what I found interesting about it was that as artists, sometimes for our work to be pleasing, we have to disguise so much of the pain. Um, and so I thought, what, what would it be like if we were to paint the real colors of that and sort of take it into a much more deeper and yeah. Uh, yeah, and we're going to talk to you and Casa a bit later so yeah. we can talk a little bit more about that. But let's talk a little bit about the movement in the work. So we're, you're working with a classically trained ballet company, but there's all sorts of other influences in your movement. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, um, so I'm South African and um, I grew up doing a, so a South African style of dance called Kwaito yeah. and African dance. And before I started doing ballet for 15 years of my life, I, I used to always dance African. Yeah. Um, and so when I was introduced to ballet, uh, it always interested me, the, the two different worlds. And when I started creating movement from a very young age, I was very interested in how we can bring these two worlds oh. together. Yeah. And I felt that for my first work with Ballet Black, this would be the opportunity to talk and bring yeah. These All those influences together. together. Yeah, yeah. So do you want to just set the stage about what the stage will look like at this point in the piece? Because I think it's in four sections. Yes, yeah, yeah. And we're going to watch the third We're watching section. the third section yeah. of the piece, which is sort of the, the big yeah. one. Um, so in the, what happens on stage, on stage right, there's, um, there's sort of dirt, which um, represents um, an environment that will take you to what the minds will sort of look like. Uh, and this is our dance stage. So there's two environments in the stage. Um, and in this section, they, they no longer use the dirt. Yeah. Um, it's very much about toy toying, which is striking. Um, when the mine workers used, went on strike and their women took over the fight. Um, so what happens in that section is it's just chaos um, and a lot of anger and violence. And do you want to talk a little bit about their costumes as yeah. well? Yeah, I worked with uh, a, a designer, um, his name is Jan Siebra. Yep. He's a Brazilian, um, he used to be a dancer as well. And when I spoke to him about the design, we sort of wanted to have a, a sense of period, uh, yes. a sense of yep. taking it back to 1946, where what we're trying to talk about originated from. Uh, and he really understood what we were trying to do. And there's, um, in the piece, they wear Wellington boots, as you know it. At home, we call them gum boots. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the, it's quite interesting to see ballet dancers wear boots. boots. And, and they, <laughs> they spend the first 15 minutes of the piece off point. 
Um, We're going to hear from them later about uh, what the gum which boots is, like. Which is very demanding and it's very hard on the body. Um, and then they suddenly move on to wearing point shoes, which yeah. is a complete different um, a way of moving. Too, yeah. yeah, yeah. Great. Um, let's. Um, I think it'd be a good time for you to get on with the rehearsal. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, please welcome the dancers of Ballet Black. Um, thank you. Uh, can we go from the moment you pick up Jose on the floor? Uh, so I was wondering uh, about the first person you look at, we should, we should relate to, and I know in this context it's Sai. And I was wondering if you can look at um, Chira first, yeah. Um, so when they pick you up, Yeah, I'm sorry, Sai. Can you, do you mind opening? No, not that much. So if we lift um, Jose up, so that there's, there's um, a very, yeah, there's a very clear image that we can relate to. Um, Jose and Chira are sort of the husband and wife in the first section. And this is the section where he's been out on strike and the women decide that they want to take over the strike and they're just picking him up to carry on the fight. Um, so, yeah, so let's, can you see that? Uh, here's the floor. Yeah, hold it a bit longer, and then s slowly start to see how many more women there are around you, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. And in this section, if we can try avoid walking this way, um, but the focus is still very much at the back, but it's, um, you, you have a clear walk path instead of trying to disguise it. <laughs> um, so can we just carry on from there? Uh, nice. Get that going. Yeah, that's beautiful, yeah. And then the shift can change. Um, so we go to the back, uh, where this section starts, blah, blah, blah. Uh, dun, 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 dun. When we do, when we do all the slow ones, can we have a little bit more um, movement in the upper body? So it's, it's not like this, so it goes boom, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, let's keep going, so we go ba, ba, di. Ba, ba, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Da, 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 dum, boom, ba. Da, da, ba, hum, ba, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. So there, in that movement, can we, hum, ba, can we extend that first leg out as far out as possible? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. And keep going. Boom, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, boom, ba, go, ba, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, ba, six, seven, eight, da ga da da ga da da ga da. Okay, there, um, I lose that rhythm every time. It starts off nice, um, but as you're about to open, I lose that last two beats. So it goes, da, yeah, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Ba, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, take it easy. Ba, ba, seven, eight. Then here again, it's boom, ba, boom. It's very directional to this way. Uh, five, six, keep going. One, one, young, young, ba, ba, young. Ba -yum, ba -yum, ba -yum, two, three, four, change of energy. Yum, ba, hum, ba, ba, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Can I ask something? Sorry, guys. Can I ask that when we do this, um, it's sort of 
shifts us um, before you do the fall. So when you do these, that it slowly takes you off this way. So we don't have to shine on the spot to do, so we take that whole space. Uh, can we go from the first one? Six, seven, eight, one. Fum, ba, ya, nice. Fum, ba, ba, one. Ba, two, ba, three. Five, six, seven, and yeah. Ba, boom, ba, ba, da, ba, ba. Hit two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Okay, there. Can you drop? Can we try that? Um, we go down this way. So it goes, and it grows from there. So it grows from, yeah, from a very low position. Yeah. I think, yeah, if, if you can, if you're not wobbly, it would be nice if you go down, but yeah. Because then it gives us um, a sense of growing into something different. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight, whoom, boom, ba, 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 boom, boom, ba, da, da, ga, 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 six, seven, eight, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Sorry, just before we get, we do that too many times. <laughs> um, so it goes ka 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 ka. This one, um, like the especially for you two ladies, it the back it needs to speak so much more. So it goes yeah yeah. You almost think that you're connecting your wrists on your back. So you yeah. Yeah. One more time, just that first half of it. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, ba, 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 hum, ba, ga, hum, nice, ga, ga, de, ga, bi, ga, da, ba, six, seven, eight, nice. Um, that's beautiful. Can we just skip the next thing into this? Boom. Yeah, just mark it. You don't need to do it probably. Five, six, seven, eight, one, da, yeah. De, 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 de. Ba. There, it's that. Um, I mean, guys, if you can make a note of this as well. It's, uh, I would like for the first two people to shoot out as much as possible. Um, so can I try with you, Sai? So if we go, yum, da, da, ga, da, 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 so it goes, boom, yeah. So the whole thing just goes, boom, boom, yeah. No, I, I probably did something wrong. <laughs> it's it's the it's the energy that I'm looking for, yeah. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, bam, bam, ba, ba, boom, yeah, yeah, that's nice. Ding, da, boom, ba, 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 ba. Nice. Um, hold, sorry, yeah. So Joe, I was wondering if you can come from here instead of there. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, so Ebs is gonna come from that corner. So if, if you go in first, yeah, so you're going to run to this corner and that's, as soon as Jose comes in, you run in from that corner. And can we do this the first time? So you're throwing, yeah, the rocks, and when the women come in, then you try to sort of protect them, and then you go out to this corner. Yeah? In the same spot. Yeah, in the same spot. Yeah. So if you can imagine that I'm here, I'll be here. So Jose goes, Ron, Ebony goes, and then the women come in. So if you can imagine that I'm whistling, and I'm like, yo, Tina, this way, and then, yeah, and then this, this happens, yeah. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. Can we try that from this? Ba. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one. Dum, dum, ba, 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 yeah, that's beautiful. 
uh, and then this happens and then you run boom boom okay so just <laughs> just be clear um, that you're actually picking something up from the floor so it's not like that um, with the energy from when you come you need to see what you pick it up so it has a um, it's very directional um, yeah just take your time and pick up something on the floor yeah five six seven one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen uh, so we go ekameni lega ise nelo nyana nelo moyengo dum 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 and then you start your thing bam bam nice eh bam da 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 dum da 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 dum da 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 dum ba da 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 dum yeah, so the, um, yeah, just like that. So let's go. Um, can we go from this exactly? Five, six, seven, eight. Um, ba, ba, ba. Yeah. So yeah, one more time. So as she turns around, it goes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, die. D. And go one. Para gara gum ba, da 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 gum ba, para ba gum ba, da 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 gum ba, da 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 gum ba, ba ba ba. Just remember, you're not taking off your top here. Da 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 gum ba. So that movement, uh, uh, the yeah, it needs to go around. Yeah. But the going, the jump, da dum di yam ba di yam, and nice. Ba hum da da ha. Yeah. The <laughs> dum <laughs> one, two, three, five, six, and eight. Ba ba. Da da. It's beautiful. Yeah. Can we just see this? Um, just from when Tina comes, Chira, when Chira comes from here. Yeah. So I call Chira Tina. It's like an, an inside joke from the piece. <laughs> so I've gotten used to it. So now every time I just say Tina. Uh, let's do this and go. One, two. Three. Okay, I'm there. I feel because what you have with Chira is very beautiful, but I'm losing it from the back. So when you walk, if you if, if can feel like you're all walking towards the, with the same energy and that you all know that you're doing the same thing. Nice, that's better. And five, six, seven, eight, ten, five, yeah. Ba, boom, ba, ba, ba. Can you, sorry guys, can I stop you there? So from here, when, before you shoot, can we exaggerate the turn out on this leg? So it goes, boom. So it has the, yeah, 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 yeah. But with still the same speed though, so it's like, ba, ba, ah, boom. Yeah, yeah, can we try that? Five, six, seven, eight, ka, ka, ya, hum, ba, ba, bi, ya, ba, wa, ba. Yeah. Um, I'm asking too much here. But the <laughs> this is beautiful, but I'm losing the energy of that leg going up. So it's like three different energies, your arm, your leg, and the other leg. Yeah, so it still goes, ba, ba, into the next thing. One more time. Six, seven, and one, two. Ha, ba, ba, ya, ba. Nice, nice. Ba, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. 
para cara pum, para cara pum, para cara pum, one, um, there um that moment, um, so if we hear, I sort of wanted to feel like a, a sen, um, like you're suspending on point slash not on point. So it has the bah feel to it. So you're sort of like floating and then your leg comes out. Yeah. Yeah. So you go from here, this is the lowest position you can ever be in. And it goes boom, bah. Yeah. And five, six, seven, and ba, 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 and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Guys, come in, two, four, five, six, seven. So the difficult thing for you guys is that you have to match whatever that energy is. So for example, if we were all walking from the back, can we go from this? Five, six, seven, eight. It needs to be like five, six, and then it starts. Yeah. So like the the, the push has to be so extended. One more time. Five, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five. Yes. Push. Nice. Yeah. It's beautiful, that's beautiful. Um, can you just go from here? Ba, five, six, seven, eh, da 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 hum, ba, hum, ba, ba, bi, ya, ba, yam, ba, hum, ba, hum, hum, ba, bi, yam, ba. Um, can I stop you guys? So, um, it starts from when you jump, um, the elevation, really comes from here. It's like somebody punched you out, so it goes So it's like, yeah, you suspend, and then um, just, yeah. Yeah, and this is very big, yeah, and very thick, and go boom, boom, forward. Yeah, heavy arms. Boom, boom, yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like you're gonna do African. <laughs> you know, so it's like, whoo, 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 yeah, nice. Yeah. One more time from this. Five, six, seven, eight. Five. It's all right. Do you want to go from this one? Yeah. Five, six, ladies, you can rest for a bit. Five, six, seven, and da 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 ya ha, ba ba hum, ba da da, ba da. This moment is um is beautiful, but it's also very crucial to know that you are both um in the same fight, because his eye line is very clear that he's looking at you when you're doing this, and yours is sort of directional out, which is beautiful, but because there's only two of you at the moment it sort of feels like you, I want you to look at him. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Boom, ba. Six, seven, just mark this one. Seven, eight, you jump. And then, Boys, come forward. Just take it easy. Da da da. Fum ba and up ba ba. Yeah, it's beautiful. And up. Ha da 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 da. Ba hum ha ba way ba. And you run. This is good. Ba ba ba. Seven. Eight and one, two, three, four, hold it there. I would like to have the same energy here that we, because the thing is we, we know you are a community, but I want to get the sense that you also know that you are a community, if that makes sense. Um, so when you come around, 
you're like aware that there's people next to you and then you just go out. But yeah. Can we go from five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, that's better. Boom, bye, ba, boom, bye, ba, boom, bye, ba, boom, bye, ba, boom, five, seven, eight, nine, and one, two, and three, four, one, take it easy, and da, ka, di, da, da, di, da, ba, ba, it's up. Okay, we're not going to do this, but can, <laughs> can we talk about the, the rhythm? So it goes, kakum, one, two, da, 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 And when it goes fast, it goes, kudum, da, 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 ba, 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 ba. Whatever happens in the upper body, don't really much care about. But it's this. Yeah. Um, your arms could be like this. Um, it's, it's the point, really. Yeah. So it starts from a very contained place, but then it goes. And then suddenly it's the end. Yeah? Let's not do it, just keep it in. <laughs> can I just see how Marie jumps? So if you can take the. Places. Yeah, so um, the fourth one was good. Yeah, the Did you feel it? <laughs> yeah. One more time. Yeah. yeah. I, I almost, hope, uh, hopefully I don't break anything. I almost want you to go. <laughs> so there's a, um, you really want to come out. There's a, you want to take flight almost, because at the moment uh, your arms stay up like this, and I don't feel they help. <laughs> yeah. Just do like three. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um. That's beautiful. Um. Should we go from where we started to here? Yeah, I think so. Um, so the, the music is by a good friend of mine and collaborator. His name is Peter Johnson. He's a South African artist as well. So we always work on WhatsApp. So the music takes a very long time to get it done because we're never together. Um, so yeah, I hope you like it. It's a very beautiful piece of music. So can we go from when you pick up Joe? your time, Joe.
on a beat. Keep this heavy.
Thanks, guys. Hey. Beautiful. We have we have about five minutes and two seconds. Um, can I just, I know you're tired, can I just look at the, the women's section? Um, the energy and the violence is like 10 times there. Um, but now I think we just need to focus a bit more on the, the glueiness, the sort of the, the same energy as this, just all the movement, especially in the women's section. Uh, where does that start? This one. Um, just mark it. I'll talk, what I, I'll talk about what I'm talking about. And you go five, six, seven, eight, eight, two, five, 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 five. So yeah, if, if we think that the, the music goes yeah um, just really sing the it's like you're hitting a drawing so like the energy expands like yeah just once that little section five six seven eight heavy Boom, ba, ram, ba, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, because then the ups and downs make a lot more sense. Yeah, 
Yeah. 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 Um, just one thing for you, Tina. Mm -hmm. when, when you hear, yeah. I know this is the scariest thing. Whenever I think of it, that's why it scares me. But it's the only time you'll ever do it. <laughs> so um, hopefully not the last time, <laughs> but the only time you do it in the piece. So the accent and the energy, it has, I need, I need to feel scared for you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. we, won't, we won't do it tomorrow, I promise. Uh, can we see that? Can we go from Make Amen? Uh, yeah, just take all of your pain. Okay. Uh, yeah, so in this case, can we do it again? <laughs> um, so, like, yeah, it has to be so synchronized. Yeah. Yeah, so don't react after. Last time, I promise. Was the action okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if anything, just think that I have a, a, the longest string from here to the corner and I'm just pulling your head. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like I'm pulling the weave out. <laughs> um, one more time. And Egameni, Legaise, Nelonyana, Nelamoying. Yes. Yeah. But I understand. At least you do. Um, it just needs to have a. <gasps> yeah. I think I'm exhaling. One more time. Okay, cool. Um, one more time. Egameni, Legaise. Yeah. Yeah. It's scary, but there's a a be there's there's beauty within it. Um that there's this like there there's there just needs to be that Yeah. And we just hear the flow go boom. We're not doing it again. <laughs> um now that we're warm, can we go from this? I'll do it with you Thank so you. that we're all in the same pain. Um, Even more. So from this, you need to um, get your heart in the right place, almost. So if you go in and out, it really shows, yeah? Because what tends to happen, we're like, yes! God, God, and then six more in it. You're like, whew, I should have started going soft. Um, yeah, so just the moment you stop this, that energy has to go from here up, 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 up until it's just chaos. Yeah. Um, but it's beautiful. Can I just look at how you're going to start this all? So everyone's on the floor. So the piece is uh, about 37 minutes long and before this, they've been dancing for about 20 minutes. So it's difficult. Um, so you jump, 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 jump. Gang, gang. I'm not, just when you stop. Yeah. Yeah, so the, when, when you stop, there needs to be panic but calmness at the same time. Yeah. 
So because if we're talking about you wait until the dust settles, because yeah. you can't see anything, you're by yourself. So when you stand up, it's like, oh my God, I'm by myself. And then you wait for the dust to settle and you're like, all my people, you know? Because um, everyone has been shot. So you're by yourself and you're just like, you, don't, you do not know what to do. Yeah, just take that moment for the last two minutes that we have. I mean, that was the longest five minutes. <laughs> so, and you go, boom. Take your time, don't rush it. Beautiful. Yeah. That, that silence, it means mission accomplished. Yeah. Whenever no one moves, no cops, because sometimes when <laughs> I, I, I realize this about myself, when I go watch big companies, when I'm so into something, even if I'm sick, I forget that I'm sick. And that means whatever is happening on stage is just perfect and that yeah take your time see also recognize people that that's Isabella do I go but decide oh my god is Tina is here as well and I'm by myself and the only thing you can either decide that no matter what happens the fight carries on yeah Thank you. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, take a deep thank breath. breath. This is Chair and Marie. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, thanks. Um, so what's it like? This, I think this is the first time you've probably worked with your fellow, one of your fellow dancers in Ballet Black. Yes, yes. What's it like? I mean, he's quite a taskmaster. He is, he is. Um, but he's, he's got a kind heart, so he's not such a drill sergeant, you know. He understands that his way of dancing doesn't really come easy to all of us. Um, so he's very patient in that way. And uh, I think he's just... Uh, kind of in tune with letting us into his brain yeah. and how he works. You know, he's very open in that way. Yeah. And Marie, what, what's it been like for you? Sort of, the, I, I suppose it's changed in dynamic in the studio, isn't it? When one of your dancers, who you know, your fellow dancers, yeah. is the person then telling you. Um, I think um, Matichi always. Um, you always stay at the studio um, after we all gone at home, and you was choreographing so it's yeah. always been this vibe in the studio yeah. um, so I think we are not surprised yeah. um, it changed the dynamic yeah of course mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. yeah but in a good way yeah um, um, and what's it like for you as um, performing this piece because I mean what we've just watched is extraordinary and you can sort of see the emotion in it mm -hmm. and what's it like when you actually perform that work and then come off the stage can you leave that behind you or What's the impact on it, on you? For me, it's it's a very emotional piece, um, even when I try not to cry. Uh, I feel like with Ngoma, 
um, from the beginning to the end, it's about us on the stage. Mm. And I don't really see the audience, um, meaning everyone's on, uh, everyone's emotions on stage yeah. bounces off of each other, yeah. you know? Yeah. So when someone's really in it, you feel it and it affects you. So if yeah. anything, at the end, we're emotional because we see our colleagues being emotional and going to that place that we didn't think it would take us to. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. genuine emotion. Yeah, yeah. emotion. Yeah. yeah. Of also, there is some dance work that we, yeah. it's very like, not superficial, but not that familiar to us. And I yeah. think this piece really um, put, um, put everybody together. Yes. And sometimes yeah. you see people crying or yeah. having an extra emotion and you're like, oh, I never saw you like that. So yeah. Yeah. I'm going to come along and help you in this. And yeah. that's why this piece is so rich as yeah. well. And and I'm, I'm quite interested in, in you as ballet dancer, you know, mm. you're classically trained. And when you watch that, you know, you're taught to be up, up and not make a sound on the floor. And mm -hmm. this actually calls for completely the opposite, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Or for both things, actually. Mm -hmm. I think um, the difficult part for a lot of us is, you know, you spend an hour and a half in a ballet class, class. trying to get up. Yeah. And then you spend... <laughs> 40 minutes getting head. down, you know, <laughs> parallel in the hip flexors. But I think it, it definitely, it's the best of both worlds because you yeah. have to be up to go down, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, no matter how much you try to fight it, it does sometimes just feel good to get down. And I can't believe I'm saying that because I like to be up. <laughs> up. But once you get a hang of it, you know, it, it feels good and it makes sense within the story of Ngoma. Yes. Yeah. The groundedness of it. Right, and I mean, what do your bodies feel like? Are you having to do extra things to sort of keep your bodies going in a slightly different way then? I think you have to let go a lot most yeah. of the yeah. time. You have yeah. to trust yourself because sometimes when you go down and you're like, how am I going to go up on point after? <laughs> yeah. And you just have to forget and just... Pray. Yeah. 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 And pray, pray. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, you have to trust yourself a lot. Yeah, and trust the choreographer that, you know, he's not trying to kill you and take your job. <laughs> that it's good for you in the future, you know? Yeah. Great. Um, please go and have some water and Thank some you. rest. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Well, um, it's nice to know there's people watching uh, the live stream, and we've got people watching in Mexico, Nigeria, Italy, Sweden, South Africa, and Russia. And there's comments coming in. There's one from um, Maya who, Maya Badoon, who says that she's loving watching uh, the mix between all the different styles and classical ballet. So that's nice to know that we're being watched from around the world. Um, now, um, please give a warm welcome back to the stage to Matutu, but also to Casa, the founder of Ballet Black. Thank you for joining us. Um, let, let's just talk a bit about what we've we've just seen. Why did you? I mean, both of you feel it was important because presumably you had to sell the idea to Casa. Um, why did you feel that this was an, an important story to tell about the? I mean, it originated with a minor strike in 1946 in South Africa, yeah. but I think it it then also grew beyond that, didn't it? Yeah. Um, it was important for me to have a work like this because in Ballet Black's 18 years, in the very beginning, nobody really took us seriously as mm. a real classical ballet entity. And so for the first maybe 10 to 12 years, I was really keen to try and make sure we did ballet. And a lot of people yeah. suggested African dance or why don't the dancers go barefoot and stuff like that. And I thought, the second we do something like that, people will say, you're not a real ballet company. Yeah. And that, that was the case back then. Yeah. And then we've become better known for being really versatile, for being yeah. great ballet dancers, but also for being yeah. versatile in other styles. And then Matutu joined the company 2015 and was already a choreographer yeah. and brought with him quite a hybrid style I would say between ballet and using point work and yes. all the styles that he'd learned yeah. back in South Africa and it felt like a natural progression I felt that like we had proved ourselves as a ballet yeah. company and that we could 
open up the style a bit more. Because it's quite interesting, isn't it? Because quite often now when you get ballet companies doing contemporary work, the point shoes come off. Yeah. And actually you've maintained the two things. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, when it comes to that, we, from the beginning, we knew that we wanted it to be on point. <coughs> um, and I decided that I wanted to teach all the material off point so mm. that the, the full movement vocabulary can be within the dance mm. and they can understand it. And then once we finished the choreography, I said, oh, by the way, it's on point. Yeah. Um, I was and then, watching nervously yeah. <laughs> where the point work was. Every rehearsal, I say, it's uh, going to be on point. <laughs> yeah, she kept on. Yeah. Like, there was a lot of socks it. in rehearsal. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the, the beauty of that is that you get this rich body movement that because you're not worrying that your foot is going to go off, mm -hmm. you go. Yeah. And then by the time they put them on, we had to sort of rethink the, the classical form in a way, like yeah. how do we approach going from one position to the other on point, yeah. um, but not losing everything that we've mm -hmm. been working on and not off point. injuring themselves. Yeah. Either. yeah. <laughs> Um, so it was a challenge in, it, in its yeah. way, but I was very interested in how it was going to come together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and th this minor strike that I think was one of the original inspirations yeah. after the painting that you saw, how did the piece then grow out of that strike and then, you know, further into sort of universal human emotion, which is what yeah. then grabs you? Um, I, I was... From that day when I saw the painting, I became very interested in the artist himself. Yes. Um, and I wanted to see more of his work. And when I was at home, I started to doing a little bit more research about his work and everything that he has done. And I found another painting by him called Blue Head yeah. and another one called Mind Boy. And they were all sort of made around the same time. Um, and I thought, these paintings could help me bring this story to life. Mm. But again, I, I, was, I wasn't born in 1946, so I have no idea what people were doing at the time. Yeah. So I became interested in the recent strike that happened in 2012 at home, yes. where police opened fire and, and shot people. And yeah. it, it was, it still is a very tragic mm -hmm. thing to think about. But what was amazing about it is that then the women decided that they were losing their husbands and children, that they decided that they want to take on the strike. And I felt that I related a lot more to that because growing up, I've always seen my mother struggle or seen my father mm -hmm. going to work and working hard. And we were surrounded by farms where I grew up. So the sense of... Um, pushing forward and fighting for something that could hopefully change in the future became a lot, a lot more the inspiration. And um, I also started thinking about life in general. Yeah. Um, I wanted to talk about life because I, I don't think life is easy. Well, certainly <laughs> not to me, it hasn't been the easiest. And I wanted to reflect that in my work that the last few years or ever since I was born has been really hard. And was it was it therefore was it difficult to find the focus? You know, I mean, cast review. As I you've mean, watched we, the process was it? I've watched a lot of choreographers over yes. the years, and often you'll come in with an idea, which I think you did at the beginning, mm. come in with quite a clear idea about the the original strikes in, yeah. in the forties, and then once you open it up to all the other dancers, it takes on a bit of a life of its own, doesn't yeah. it? And they brought things into it as well. Not that they are from South Africa or from backgrounds that mm -hmm. reflect what we're talking about yeah. but um, there's definitely a universal theme of the struggle and the fight and and getting up every day whether yeah. it's um, being a ballet dancer and being in terrible pain and getting up and going to work yeah. or being someone it, on a strike. It, yeah I think it really is about just enjoying the pain it's <laughs> it's <laughs> It's, it's really painful. I, I, I did the piece once because we are a very small company and one of the dancers was not well um, and I had to step into the piece. And it was amazing to see or to feel the pain that I wanted to portray. Um, and I think we take, we take for granted how much we go through as human beings or how much as human beings we've put ourselves through dating back from slavery to apartheid in South Africa to 
now emigration and everything. As humans, we've put ourselves through mm. so much unnecessary pain. And I thought that Ngoma was a reflection mm. of that. Yeah. And where did the music then come into that? Did, had, you, had you done lots of research and started working in the studio? Yeah. Uh, well, the music originally, <laughs> I had the a beat because when, when I first saw the painting, I heard the, because it's, it's called Song of the Peck. Yeah. So I heard the rhythm going on like this and that was sort of our initial starting point. Um, and the more we worked on it, the more it sort of sounded like work song and slavery. And, and I, I wasn't quite sure if that's the direction I wanted mm -hmm. to go because when you hear a, a pick, it, it somehow it, it really it takes you, it, yeah, it takes yeah. you to a very specific place. And so I thought about what sound would South Africans um, think of when they hear the P, when they see the piece, a specific sound has to take them yes. to a specific yeah. place. And that's why we chose to do gambut's dancing, yeah. because gambut's dancing at home originated from the mines, yes. yeah. which unfortunately you didn't see tonight. Um, so there's, there's gambut's yeah. dancing and the rhythm is very specific and, yeah. and, and the energy is very specific to yeah. mine workers. Because it's quite interesting actually, even just watching um, that bit, I thought how you're using a point shoe yeah. to make mm -hmm. a, a noise as opposed to try and make it silent. Yeah. Sort of yeah. We're doing the opposite in ballet. Normally yeah. you have to hammer your shoes down to make them as quiet as yeah. possible. And here we're getting yeah. through lots of fresh pairs to make <laughs> yeah. all the noise. Yeah. yeah. And we have to go off at a tangent here just to ask Kasia about her point shoe achievement in terms of what the dancers are now uh, wearing on their feet. Well, <laughs> Um, I'd say it's a joint achievement with Freed and yeah. um, Chira Robinson. Um, yes, yeah. The dancer you just saw getting shot several times and having to drop on the floor. Um, <laughs> and what I find the most satisfying at the moment is seeing all the women on stage and none of them are wearing pancake shoes. shoes. They're all wearing shoes bought in their own colour. Yeah. Could you just explain what they used to have to do though? So normally you'd buy a pair of very pink satin ballet shoes and then you would get out foundation makeup yeah. in your own skin colour and some gloves and some sponges and some newspaper and you would spend a lot of time painting your shoes, your ribbons, your yeah. elastics and all the other bits and pieces that you might want to put on your shoe and then you let it dry and then you do another coat and then you let it dry and you might, if you're very conscientious, do a third coat okay. um, and that's a real pain in the backside and yeah. now <laughs> we don't have to do it anymore. I have to say though, I, I remember the first time we were rehearsing in Goma and my focus, I never look at people's feet, <laughs> but for suddenly my focus were on the women's shoes and I was like, oh my God, yeah. like this, it, it really was an incredible thing to see. And I took it for granted for the first, when, when the company was still working on it, I was like, I don't, I don't get the point. <laughs> and then I saw that before the show, there isn't like a, a dab, dab, break, mm -hmm. break, blah, blah, blah. So everything. And brown dots on the yeah, stage. Yeah, it's just, everyone just put their shoes <laughs> on. And, and we do yeah. the work, yeah. which was really amazing. This is sort of progress in all sorts of ways, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, and so we're sort of coming to the end of our talk now, but do you want to just talk a bit about your now for the company? Because we're sort of almost 20 years in, mm -hmm. and you know, the, a lot of progress, I think, has been made, but what, what do you want to do next with the company and maybe choreographers in the company? Mm. Um, some progress has been made, I think, in this country. Yeah. And at the beginning of Ballet Black, it was about getting role models on stage so that kids coming up through the ranks could, could have something to aspire to yeah. and something to look up to. Um, and now it's still that, but it's also how do we change what's going on behind the scenes? So mm. who, who's choreographing the work that we're yeah. seeing? Who's telling the stories? What, whose stories are we hearing? Yes. And who is producing it, who's the administrator, who's, who are the gatekeepers now yeah. in ballet? And that hasn't changed very much in this country, but I hope with dancers like the dancers in Ballet Black yeah. and, and the diverse dancers in other companies that when they've had their dance careers, because we don't want to cut those short, yeah. they will graduate out of their companies and become artistic directors, rehearsal directors, choreographers, producers, all, all the things yeah. behind the scenes as well, yeah. so that we change the structure, the structure of, of what's happening backstage, yeah. but also we start to hear from different people because I feel like we're hearing from the same 
group of people all the time in Bali. And hopefully this will be the start of a change in that. Great. On which note? future family. Um, we've reached the end of the insight tonight, so I'd just like to say thank you to everybody who's been watching. Thank you to our audience here in the Limbury. Ballet Black will be here from the 13th to the 15th of June, performing their double bill with this piece and with Kathy Marsden's The Suit. But thank you again to Ballet Black and good night. <laughs>